All right, fellas, so got a little bit of a different video for you today. Uh, we are at a local Mopar yard. Uh, some of you guys may recognize him, some of you may not. He's been dealing in these cars since they were pretty well brand new. I mean, he had a 69 Roadrunner he ordered brand new. Let me get the camera turned around here and I'll show you. We're already starting off strong with a 68 Dart. This is the one that we have, uh, it is a possibility my younger brother will be trading out his 66 Coronet for. Honestly, we haven't made up our mind because this car was a six cylinder car, bench seat, automatic. And I mean, it, it's about as rough as the Coronet is, but his dream car has always been a 68 Dodge. So, or well, 68 Dart, I should say. So anyways, I mean, there's a bunch of parts to go with this one. Uh, there's this F350 right here. This one's for sale. Uh, he buys, he sells. I mean, there's just about everything over here, as you're going to see. I mean, there's an Aspen sitting over there. New Chargers. There's the Monster Nash. Uh, Ram Chargers, early Darts. Belvedere's, Dakotas, New Yorkers, all the good stuff's in the other yard, so it'll be a minute before we get there. Oh, well, there is 69 Roadrunner. That one's also for sale right now. So, if any of you guys have interest in any of these vehicles, let me know, because I will gladly, uh, I don't know, I may just have him say something in the video later, but I will gladly get you in contact to buy some of these vehicles because the more you buy four speed white interior red this car was a looker back in its day i'm a sucker for white interiors though so 64 ford country squire station wagon uh ugly charger let's say yeah we can go over here i think all the cool stuff over here got crushed or moved most of the, there's quite a few things that have been sitting here since, I don't know, I want to say the 90s. And uh, anyway, the stuff people weren't picking parts off of anymore, that got too rough. Which wasn't a lot of old stuff. Valiant. Let's see, I think that's another Valiant over there. There's that Aspen. Yeah, another Valiant, Dakota, not really much there. Big Dodge truck. But, uh, anyways, I mean, a bunch of, we just cleaned out a bunch of this stuff, got this yard all cleaned up so we could actually have room to bring other stuff in here. We mainly, we crushed a bunch of the newer stuff, not the older stuff. That's why the older stuff, you know, there's always money to make in it. So, but anyways, guys, like I said, if I'm walking around, do you see something you like? Uh, just let me know. Whether it's just something as small as a part you need, something as big as a project that you want. Let's see, we will get you all set up and sorted out. Especially on the 62 to 65 Dodges and Clements. Hey, here's a duster over here. I don't remember if this one was a 71 or a 72, but it was a three-speed six-cylinder car. So, three-speed in the four six-cylinder car, I should say. I think the pedals are still there. This is the Ram Charger. Hopefully the wind's not breaking your eardrum. There's a duster grill just laying out on the ground. But anyways... Oh, there's a couple more things other, until I have to move over to the other yard. But yeah, uh, this guy is my uncle. So I guess in a way I am associated with all this because the more stuff he sells, the more cool stuff he can bring in. That's my big uh, motivating factor on helping him sell. Oh. Shelby Charger. That one is a real five-speed sunroof uh, Shelby Charger. Ugly Charger. Chrysler 300, Cool Fury, parts car, 
parts car. Honestly, if the 65 Plymouth wasn't so rough, I'd love to own this thing. That's 62 Plymouth. I don't remember exactly. But that's a good parts car. Four door 68 Dart. That's a good parts car. Javelin or AMX. And another uh, Ram Charger. I couldn't remember if that was a Ram Charger or a Trail Duster. So, step side bed. I mean, there's a Cadillac all the way over there. It's convertible. But anyway, guys, yeah. Like I said, let me get over to the other yard where there's more stuff you all will probably like to see. And then we will go talk to this mysterious stranger. I picked an absolutely amazing day to do this. But anyway, you can see here's the rolled and trashed special uh, 68 Coronet. A door for a 69 charger worth about a million dollars. Charger guys anyways. 65 Plymouth convertible. That was a... I know it was a V8, but I can't remember which V8 it was. It was pretty cool. It was a satellite and all. Uh, semi trailers with parts all in them. Some of these are just my aunt's wedding stuff and all that. So, but anyways, 70 charger. If I can get to zoom in, eh, we'll just walk up to it. This car is kind of weird because it's a slant six charger. You don't see a lot of them. Uh, honestly, this is just a parts car at this point. So, D50. Love D50s. It won't let me zoom in. That's weird. Oh well, Dakotas, 53 Windsor, four door, 64. Might be a three. 63. Brian Perry, there's a Fury for you. Uh, 62 Plymouth. is off a really cool car it should just be over here somewhere another Valari Newport uh that's my parts car that's my brother's parts car uh that one's a 66 and this one uh, that one's a 66 Plymouth this one's also a 66 but it's Cornet. uh 10 grill Dodge pickup the car I cut one of my quarter panels off of <laughs> this I think this is the car I'm thinking it is this one was kind of weird they got the Jesus on this plate yeah this is the car I'm thinking it is this car was actually complete when it came here but there was a whole title issue and so it was never going to see the road again which is unfortunate because I mean it's kind of cool this is the Fury that that hood belongs off of factory big block four speed got a bunch of parts lying around in it i think it yeah i think it's got a hundred dash on it but i mean she got hit hard another shelby charger 62 dart because 62 darts are awesome i actually love the 62 dart i'm not being sarcastic another 62 dodge 64 Plymouth. Uh, that's the four door, not the wagon. 63 Plymouth. That's uh, half a car, half the price. 66 or 7 charge. I can't remember. she been gutted hard, though. Not a four speed car. Got all the buzz light you'll ever need. There's more stuff over there we'll be getting to. Uh, 64 Dodge four door. This car looked really cool when it was in not so rough shape. It was kind of like this coppery color, white interior. Let's say it was a poly 318, I believe. Uh, other duster, another 67. I need to steal. No, never mind. Come on. But so I was gonna say I need to turn signal indicators out of that. But 67 Dart. That's really rough. Uh, Chrysler 300. 62 four-door. Don't quote me on that one. This one's for sale. 
it is a 62 or 63 300 i believe and it was don't quote me on this one because we don't have any paperwork for it but it was said to be owned by richard petty's uncle which is kind of cool roof off this car was chopped to make a uh 64 hemi clone just i think this is another 63 dodge don't know what that little thing is it's weird yeah 63 dodge uh that's another that's a 68 satellite uh don't really know the full story on this one it's just here 63 plus we'll get around to the satellite i know you guys go nuts over 68 70 b bodies there's not a good piece of metal on this car it's literally just for parts everything is for sale and can be bought but if it's super rough chances are they will not sell you more than just parts off of it so yeah there's it's still got a grill in it let's say it's not a ah, no it's okay 62 dodge uh don't even rest the that is we'll have to get around it 64 plymouth there's fury i think it is don't know what that is but anyways usually it's too grown up to go exporting back here so i'll just check this little thing out it's small whatever it is Monia 1900 somebody's probably gonna know what that is it's not me if you do please tell us but anyway there's all kinds of stuff here guys like if i were to go exploring through the trailers showing off parts besides the fact that last time i found a four foot long snake in one of them uh we'd spend all day here 65 coronet hard top I like the hardtop styles better myself. I know the post cars are popular to make a, uh, a hemi clone out of. I don't know how the camera angles are on a lot of this because I'm trying to prevent slipping and breaking my neck. Four door Belvedere too. Another 62 Dodge. I honestly, I love a 62 Dodge. They are so cool. Uh, I didn't really catch. I think that's a Chrysler. Uh, no, that's a 64 Dodge. 65 Fury. Four door, so it's a good parts car. Ugly Chargers. If you guys can't tell, I'll be honest, I don't necessarily hate these cars, but they're not my favorite. So. Do with that as you wish. 73 Duster, I believe, when I read the tag off. Uh, don't know the year on the Charger. I'm not even going to try because somebody will correct me. 64 Plymouth. Another 64. Bunch of 64 Dodges. 65 Plymouth. Let's see. I wonder if I can make it over to these cars over here. There's a couple more cars down in the woods down there. I don't know if you can see them through everything. There's a 66 Plymouth, uh, an Avalari. There's a 68 Coronet sitting right in there. But there's also a 68 GTX sitting down there that was a 444 speed car until somebody took its identity. 68 Coronet. There's also a 68 Roadrunner, but some of the thistles and briars around here are very intimidating and i didn't bring a machete so we'll just walk back this way there's great footage of uh, enjoying nature it's pretty neat if anybody got that reference but anyways well like i said if you need parts especially for the early b bodies there are plenty well, there's a wagon the wagon used to have 391 sugar per end in it 68 300 uh don't remember what that other one is 
don't remember what this used to be either. Uh, I think it was a 65 Coronet. Might be a Plymouth though. Probably a Plymouth. And here's just the back though. Was a 68 Roadrunner somewhere over here. I don't know where it ended up at. Unless it got crushed. I think it was sitting right here. So, Challenger, uh, Barracudas, back glass is still in them. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's about $6,000 sitting right there. That airport limo is kind of weird. But, anyways, guys, like I said, if you need parts, and I know I've said it a million times in this video, seriously, just get in contact with me. I will hook you up as best as I can. Because these semi-trailers and stuff are filled with parts. But don't get the idea to try and get over here to steal stuff because they don't like people uh, trying to steal stuff very much. Let's see. I think it's got everything. I was going to try and find that Roadrunner. I think it might have got crushed. It was used as a donor car for uh, his son-in-law's 68 Hemi Roadrunner. Yeah, I think it got crushed. Oh, well. Anyway, guys, we're going to head back over to his place. We're going to talk to him and uh, let him introduce himself and probably how to contact him, unless you just want to go through me. Uh, stay tuned.